Welcome everyone, I'm Sash and you're here with my first tech session. This is my review of iPhone 11 Pro Max. If you like my content, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos and updates. This is the new iPhone 11 Pro Max. So at first glance you would wonder what's so new about this new iPhone? Well, on the front nothing much has changed from their last series of iPhones. They are almost the same size and they look pretty much identical. But it's the back of it which has changed drastically. This time around they have gone with a frosted glass back and increased the number of cameras from 2 to 3. In fact, this 3 camera setup tends to give this phone a very unique look. It has got a stainless steel frame and an IP68 protection with maximum depth of 4 meters up to 30 minutes which is basically twice as much as last year's edition had. Now talking about face recognition in this, with some help from iOS 13, Face ID in this is pretty impressive, it's much faster, it's more accurate and it can recognize your face from considerably wider angles. Moving on to the display, for starters, both 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max have got an exceptional display. This Pro Max has got a 6.5 inch Super Retina XDR OLED display which means it can effortlessly hit higher brightness levels. Apple claims that under the sunlight it can hit up to 800 nits while watching extreme dynamic range content it can shoot up to 1200 nits. Pretty impressive. Not just that, it boasts a contrast ratio of 2 million to 1 and that means you get a larger difference between the brightest white and the darkest black the screen can produce. It's also got a pixel density of 458 ppi and that rounds up a super impressive display. In this iPhone 11 and 11 Pro series, they have moved on from 3D touch to haptic touch technology, which I think is something that some people will not be happy about. But because it's more of an OS based feature, it will get better with new iOS updates. This comes with Dolby Atmos and Dolby Digital Plus enabled sound system with stereo speakers. The sound quality is pretty good and loud as well. This comes with a much larger and upgraded battery from their last series and it can last up to 5 hours longer than the 10x Max. An 18 watt fast charging power adapter comes in the box with all Pro models and 11 Pro Max can hit up to 50% of charge in 35 minutes. Quite decent for a large battery such as this. Moving on, Apple brags about the new A13 processor in this new series, claiming it to be the most advanced and fastest chip to be ever used in a mobile phone. To tell you the truth, they might be onto something. The Geekbench fire results of iPhone 11 Pros show scores of over 1300 for single core and over 3400 for multi core. This is a significant increase of scores from their last year's A12 chip, which by no means was slow. In fact, they were more powerful than all their Android counterparts, and that means this A13 chip should hit new levels of speed and power as Apple can claim. It's also got this impressive A10 fastest ever in a smartphone GPU and both these CPU and GPU can be 20% faster and they use 30-40% to less battery than their last year's edition. Now moving on to the most anticipated part of this phone, the camera, or as I proclaim, the Pro camera. So before I get to the back camera setup, let's talk about the front camera setup here. It has had a significant upgrade from the last year's edition because instead of a 7MP camera, now we get a 12MP camera. So with the front camera, you get two main modes as you did in iPhone X, the normal photo mode and the portrait mode. 
So with the photo mode, if you want to fit in more people in your photo, you just have to hit the button of two arrows facing each other right at the bottom of your screen and boom, it will go to a much wider angle. And you can also get this wide angle switched on if you rotate your phone horizontally. That's something new. In the portrait mode you don't get any wide angles but you get a new lighting mode in this called high key light mono effect. You can see yourself the quality of these photos and you can see smart HDR is working over time to keep everything natural and impressive. So this time around with video recording you get 4K video with 60 frames per second and you get 4K 30fps with an extended dynamic range. That's something to look forward to. So this video right here was shot in 4K 30fps with extended dynamic range. Now you can see how extended that dynamic range is because highlights around the ceiling light are super clear and the details of her face in the shadow are quite clear as well. That is top stuff. And you can see the video stabilization is pretty good as well. What you also get with this phone is front camera video recording in slow motion. As Apple would say, slow fees. Now moving on to the biggest aspect of this phone, the back camera. So with the three camera setup you get a 26mm wide lens, 52mm telephoto lens and for the first time ever in an iPhone, 13mm ultra wide lens. This ultra wide lens has a 120 degree field of vision and it's one of the main pros in this phone. So with these three photo modes you can capture three different frames without having to move. So with the portrait mode you get the wide angle option but, but you don't get the ultra wide option. And what's also impressive with this is the night mode. In a low light situation when you take a photo by default the settings for the night mode have been set to automatic but you can also adjust your night mode settings manually. Here you can see an example of how good it is. This photo I captured with only a small light in the corner of the room and yet it came out super super good. So with all these modes the photos coming out good means this camera setup really deserves the hype that it had. So when it comes to video recording you get 4K 60fps with an extended dynamic range and you also get ultra wide option with it. This basically means you get top quality videos from the back camera setup. Considering all these cool new features and upgrades from many aspects you can arguably say that it this is the pro title that Apple gave it. Well, it is an expensive buy, but if you really need all these upgraded features in your life, it definitely can be a good choice. So among these cool new features, what are the features that you're really excited about? Drop a comment below. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you happen to like this, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos and updates. I'll be back with another video. Till then, take care.